Hello everyone, welcome to the Mathematics in my channel. In this video, we are going to talk about the digamma function. Uh, I hope to uh, do a video series of digamma function. This is the first part. So, what is the digamma function? Uh, in general, uh, mathematics, in mathematics, digamma function is defined as the logarithmic derivative of gamma function. So, this is the gamma function. Gamma of x is equal to integral from 0 to infinity t to the x minus 1 times e to the minus t dt. So now uh, if we consider digamma function psi of x is equal to derivative of natural log of gamma of x. So if we differentiate natural log of gamma of x we know we will have uh, natural log function so 1 over gamma of x then according to chain rule we know derivative of gamma function gamma dash of x so digamma of x is equal to gamma dash of x over gamma of x so now here we have <coughs> interesting identity I used uh, this identity uh, when uh, solving many integrals so uh, here we can take gamma dash of x is equal to uh, gamma of x times di gamma of x okay then <coughs> we know uh, if we differentiate di gamma function if we differentiate di gamma function we have tri gamma function then if we again differentiate tri gamma function we will have tetra gamma uh, then uh, we know uh, this is uh, uh, di gamma, tri gamma, uh, tetra gamma and uh, so on uh, all are uh, kind of uh, polygamma function so in a pre in, in near future video I will talk about the polygamma function so first uh, then I am going to talk about uh, I am going to prove uh, this identity di gamma of x plus 1 is equal to di gamma of x plus 1 over x so this is uh, very important because uh, this identity also I used uh, to evaluate many integrals so how to prove this identity well uh, we know uh, well known identity we have about gamma function gamma of x plus 1 is equal to x times gamma of x then uh, I'm going to differentiate with respect to x so here we have gamma dash of x plus 1 is equal to here we have product of two functions so product rule x uh, times the derivative of gamma function gamma dash of x plus then rewrite gamma function then uh, derivative of x we know 1 then I am going to uh, divide by gamma of x plus 1 so here gamma dash of x plus 1 over gamma of x plus 1 is equal to x times gamma dash of x over here uh, we should divide by gamma of x plus 1 but gamma of x plus 1 is equal to x times gamma of x so we can write here x times gamma of x and here also x times gamma of x now uh, we know gamma dash of x plus 1 over gamma of x plus 1 mean uh, di gamma of x plus 1 is equal to here x get cancelled and here again we have di gamma function the definition of di gamma function so di gamma of x plus here gamma of x get cancelled so we have 1 over x okay this is the proof of this identity well uh, then I'm going to talk about series formula for di gamma function so this is the formula di gamma of di gamma of c plus 1 is equal to minus gamma here gamma we know Euler's mass coronary constant plus uh, sum of n is equal 1 to infinity 1 over n minus 1 over n plus c so how to prove well uh, then uh, we have um, what's the definition of a gamma function gamma of c is equal to e to the minus gamma of c over c uh, infinite product n is equal 1 to infinity 1 plus 
c over n raised to the minus 1 times uh, e to the c over n. Uh, in near future, I will do a video for proof of this identity. Okay, then uh, we can still simplify gamma of c is equal to uh, e to the minus gamma of c over c times infinite product n is equal 1 to infinity here we can write here minus 1 so n over n plus c times e to the c over n well then i am going to take uh, natural log both side so here we can write natural log of gamma of c is equal to here natural log of e we know e get cancelled so uh, gamma of c plus natural log of 1 over c plus natural log of uh, infinite product n is equal 1 to infinity n over n plus c times e to the c over sorry i had a call okay uh, here parenthesis okay then uh, we know uh, natural log of natural log of uh, product uh, we can write uh, sum of natural log okay then uh, we can write here natural log of gamma of c is equal to uh, minus gamma of c plus natural log of 1 over c plus then we know uh, this product uh, convert to sum so we can write infinite sum n is equal 1 to infinity natural log of n over n plus c then here uh, product so plus uh, e get cancelled so plus c over n okay then uh, we can write natural log of gamma of c is equal to minus uh, gamma of sorry <coughs> here um, okay now uh, we can uh, differentiate with respect to c so we can write uh, here uh, d by dc natural log of gamma of c and here we know only minus gamma uh, here uh, we have uh, we know uh, plus natural log so 1 over c minus 1 over c square plus here infinite sum n is equal 1 to infinity uh, here we have uh, n over n plus c minus n over n plus c square and here we have plus 1 over n okay then we can simplify here we know derivative of natural log of gamma function is equal to di gamma function so di gamma of x is equal to minus gamma uh, then here c get cancelled so we have minus uh, 1 over c then here plus n is equal 1 to infinity here n plus c get cancelled n get cancelled uh, so 1 over n minus 1 over n minus 1 over n plus c okay then uh, here um, diagram of c sorry now we have diagram of c uh, this minus 1 over c uh, we can take uh, left hand side so here we have diagram of c plus 1 over c so we prove this identity is equal to diagram of x plus 1 so diagram of c plus 1 is equal to minus gamma plus uh, n is equal 1 to infinity 1 over n minus 1 over n plus C. Okay, this is the uh, proof of series representation of diagram function. Okay, thank you for watching.